Ta-da. Welcome to Joey and Lisa's house, a house where living naturally is the ultimate goal. From the moment you walk in, you can feel all the positive vibes. Masks from their travels from around the world, paintings by Lisa on the wall, and furniture that they're either recycled or gotten from someone. <laughs> There's not one single piece of furniture that we bought. Everything okay. is recuperated. Like this uh, like, bar chair, for example. Yeah. Uh, like a 50s, 60s chair. Was, uh, we found it on the, on the street. No way. <laughs> this too. This one is a very typical uh, Quebec chalet kind of chair. And it was just here in front of the house. <laughs> In the backyard, they're trying to grow different fruits, vegetables, and herbs, all the while creating their own natural compost and fertilizers. So, being organic at home. At the start of the season, we gathered all the dead leaves that fell from the tree. So the tree is amazing because it gives us all the organic leaves that fall onto the ground. And this is very good for, uh, for the soil to create new soil. And so then, you put dead leaves and then what? So we put dead leaves and like here you see like Lisa put uh, squash uh, uh, skin basically. Mm -hmm. So she was cooking so she threw that here. It decomposes with the leaves and at the end of summer we're going to have like soil here and then we use that soil. We dig a hole in the ground, we put that soil and over winter soil is being created so that next season when we're going to plant like we did this year we have good soil to plant in and we don't need to add like uh, uh, chemical fertilizers or anything so it's, it's going to be organic this bag actually it's a kind of soap that we put like here and here uh, to get the squirrels away because last year we got all our stuff eaten by the squirrels Wow. So, and what we do also to get the squirrels away, when I actually when I do this like to my hair, I get hair that uh, come off. So I collect them and then I spread them because the squirrel uh, smells the predator. Just so, with your hair. Just with my hair. So like, actually you can take any kind of fur or hair of a predator that's like above the squirrel in the hierarchy, and this, the squirrel should stay away. So, grow your own Lebanese zatar. <laughs> and then you also plant uh, these kind of flowers which attract the uh, pollinizateurs, so basically bees and uh, insects that are gonna help to pollinize uh, your vegetables. So you need to have that mix of, uh, the, you know, the right flowers with, uh, with, the, with the vegetables. What is really wonderful about their home is the constant activities they throw at their guests. Lisa puts an old door for painting and everyone grabs a brush. Joey needs help planting some grass, so one takes a shovel and another plants the seeds. So, the thing is, this is a uh, citrus tree uh, branch, more like root, it's more of a root, and I basically picked this up from Senegal, so it's a toothpick. It massages your gums, and it's very important to massage your gums. It's important for healthy gums. So basically, it's got this kind of liquid inside that's very citrus, and that's good for keeping teeth white. So it's a whitening, it's a toothbrush, it's a toothpick, and it's a gum massage, four in one, right from Mother Nature. So you have a lot of paintings all around your house. Yeah. Why is uh, is painting part of your daily life? Uh, in general, yes, art in general, and uh, painting in particular. So I started discovering art therapy, and I got into art therapy, which is basically uh, healing yourself through art and meditating through art, because the act of painting 
actually empties your, you know, your brain. I started being really interested in art therapy and gardening therapy. So uh, I uh, I helped open a, an art therapy community center where people can come, garden and and do arts. People who have deficiencies, people who are depressed, people who are. Uh, ex-convicts, so it was a way for to, to uh, integrate them back into society through arts and gardening. Because gardening is an art, and having art in a garden is just perfect. In this house, Joey and Lisa try to apply everything they've learned about natural living, and they hope one day to be fully self-sufficient. Because like they say in this house, happy is the new rich.